Hey everybody, Cosmic Mappin here, and welcome to another Director's Commentary. It has been a while, and I decided I wanted to do a Director's Commentary of Alternative Future World, the full series. So, uh, I decided let's start off with Episode 1 and 2 in the same video, because they're both, like, the shortest videos on my channel. They're both 8 minutes long, and they both sort of fit into the same, like, they fit into the same era of early Cosmic Map, and I wasn't that great yet. I was decent, but I was still trying to find my way, my style, my writing style. And so, so yeah, I feel like they sort of fit together as, like, the first half of Season 1. And they're both pretty short, so I decided why not do them in the same video. So, of course, we are going to start with Episode 1, so without further ado, let's go for it. Uh, turn it down a bit. So, this is something that I kind of regret, but not necessarily, is this sort of intro thing. Ooh, that is an advertisement. Th this sort of intro thing that I did. A lot of mappers did this at, a at the time. A lot of mappers still do it, where the characters sort of do like a, a break in the fourth wall introductory thing. And, I mean, it's not like horrible. I, I, th I think it was fine, but if I could change it, I, I like I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but if I could change it, I definitely would change it just to give the series a more serious start. So overall, I wish I could change that. Also, I am going to be pausing a bit when I need to talk uh, about things more in detail because it's such a short video. I can't say too much about it just in the time that there is. All right. So yeah, just starting again, and it starts with dialogue that isn't necessarily. Uh, sorry. Not necessarily the worst, but just not the best. And you can see, I still was kind of learning how Paint.net work, uh, worked, and I didn't really understand the layers and that you had to put text on a separate layer. So, multiple times throughout the video, there's just, like, the... You can see it with, like, shorter words, specific, uh, especially, like, it'll just be in the bottom left or all the way to the left, all the way to the right. So yeah, the series starts with the Ukrainian-Russian war. Um, I don't. I, I think that was a good way to start it, but uh, I could have fleshed things out better. Like, grr, I would never use like a line that simple nowadays. There would be a lot more fleshing out involved. So overall, I I do think that this is probably my worst video. Not because I think it's horrible, but just compared to what I do now, I think it's just not very good. And yeah, in like, your... That was something I fucked up a lot back in the day, was spelling your wrong. So yeah, uh, this is the introduction of South Africa, and one of, actually, this is probably one of the most important episode, uh, moments in the series, is the death of Namibia, and this is something... Here, I'm going to pause it here. This is something I really, really wish I fleshed out more, because it's a scene that has so much importance in Egypt's character development. Uh, what we see in uh, future episodes of the series, a lot of what drives Egypt is wanting to avenge Namibia. And this scene, I feel, isn't necessarily fleshed out enough. And if I could redo... There's a... Ch that just brought on I maybe sometime in the future I'll do like a remastered edition of episode one where I rewrite it, you know, not entirely, but flush it out more. That I think that would be interesting because I I really wish it was more fleshed out, is just what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is a scene that I I think it's one of the better scenes in this episode. Like I like that line right there that Namibia just said, but overall I really wish I fleshed it out more. I need a drink. Okay. And this is a scene that, like, it, it was, it's filler. <laughs> like, I wanted to do things with Greenland to make Greenland a character, but, yeah, um, I never really got to. This is another scene I wish I, I, I pre, pretty much every scene in this episode, I'm going to say I wish I fleshed it out more. But, you know, at the time, I was still, I was still learning. <laughs> I was a very, very new mapper. I made this video before I even made the channel Cosmic Mapping. So there's a lot of things visually and uh, writing-wise I need to fix. And uh, 
this is something that I, this is a problem that I've had actually, I'll, I'll pause. This is a problem I've had for a very long time and I feel I've only started to get better uh, with it like very recently is the bad front lines. For a long time it was just like very straight lines. Like now I know that you know you gotta make it a bit rugged. You gotta zigzag it a bit to make it look good. So yeah, I that's a problem I had for a while. <sighs> yeah, and then Egypt learning mm. ah, water I don't have my fart soda like I had last director's commentary I wish I did I wish I did not gonna lie I haven't had that soda for a while so here in like the text is so small it's off to the bottom right and this here I gotta pause because this is like the most important scene in the episode <laughs> okay so hold on just go forward a bit to make it... Yeah. So, this is the most controversial scene in the episode by a long shot. It's why the video has not a very good like-to-dislike ratio. And it's pretty much the subject matter of 90% of the comments on the video. It's the second Russian-Ukrainian war and Ukraine beating Russia. And it's a scene that not only I wish I fleshed out more, but... So I, did, I did something horrible in the editing. The editing, I fucked up really bad. Just watch this. Look at how fast everything's going by. You can barely re read what the U.S. is saying. You can't... This was a mistake. This was actually an editing error. I fucked it up, and nobody got time to read any of that. Like, that was so short. No one got time to read that, and I think that might be the reason why so many people were pissed off. Like, of course... Russian nationalists are going to be pissed off no matter what. But, like, I, I, I feel like that's the reason why so many people got angry is because they just, they didn't know what was happening. I do actually really like the idea of Russia picking on Ukraine and then larger powers coming in, funding Ukraine, and then Ukraine beating Russia. I That is actually one of the oldest ideas for this series. That idea dates back to August 2014 when I was just, like learning what mapping was. I I came up with that idea for a show that I, that I would do eventually, and that was sort of the whole idea for the first episode. And honestly, it's probably the most important... One of the... It, if not... It's one of the, if not the most important moment in the series because it, it sort of starts the big power struggle between the West and what would eventually become the Bayesian Pact. And, uh... So, so yeah, it's a very pivotal moment. That's why I really wish I edited it. I flushed it out more in the writing perspective. And I wish I also edited it. Edited. I always feel weird saying edited. It just doesn't sound right. But I also wish I edited it better because it just... It didn't come out too good. But overall, I still think it was a good idea. Whew. So, yeah, this was also when I used to use copyrighted music. So I guess I can't monetize this video either. That's great. I need a sip of water. Mm. But yeah, overall, I do I do like this scene. I just wish I fleshed it out a bit more and uh, edited it better. I can't say edited it. It just sounds we. It sounds like you're fucking up a sentence. Edited it sounds like you're fucking up a sentence. So. This also sort of shows that, you know, I was just sort of getting into it. Like, once again, this isn't edited very well. But this is one of the... This, if if anything... Hold on, it's being weird. This is my biggest regret. Oh. Hold on. That goddamn smiley face. If there's one criticism that I use all the time when I'm reviewing shows on MapperCast, it's do not use emojis or emoticons or whatever in your dialogue. It comes off as, like, it just comes off as bad. It, it doesn't come off... It, it, it comes off as unprofessional and makes the writing seem a, a lot less professional, a lot less well-written, and overall just degrades the seriousness of the dialogue. And I get what I was trying to convey here. What I was trying to do is, you know, I was trying to have Japan, like, cheekily be like, oh, nice doing business with you. But there's other ways I could have done that. I could have done an exclamation point. I could have 
done a dot dot dot. There's other ways I could have done that, and I feel like the emoticon was the absolute worst way I could have done that. So yeah. So yeah, that's how Japan got Sock Holland. It's my drum. And then uh, Ukraine keeps Russia and Kamchatka. Iron Curtain will rise again. A lot of people just sort of assume that that was it for Russia. Like, a lot of the comments I got on episode 3 when I first launched episode 3 was um, like I didn't even know Russia still existed also I misspelled anything I said an thing but yeah this is one of the most important moments in the show it, it does sadden me that this is my most popular video on my channel like hold on let me pause again I like I've said in the past I don't think it's a bad video but just compared to so many videos uh, that I've made recently that I'm really, really proud of, stuff like Alternative Future of the USA Episode 2, Mapping Whispers 10, uh, Alternative Future of the World 5 and 4, I feel like it, even 3 is great too. I am proud of so much stuff I've made since this video, and I'm just sad that this is my most viewed video with 118,000 views. I, I wish... That it would, if, if I had to choose, it would probably be 5 as my most viewed video, because I feel like that had the most effort, but whatever. But yeah, this is where Canada is introduced as a character, and, uh, you know, they're sort of op opposition to the imperialism of NATO. And yeah, this is uh, one of the hallmarks, I feel, of the first, like, half of the season, is NATO being bombastic asshole characters and that that was sort of the idea of the whole thing was to you know have have them start as anuses that just cared about warfare and expansion and then eventually by episode five they became characters that just want to survive and make sure their friends lived you know in episode five i feel like the usa really like the usa is probably the character that's developed the most started off as a very dickish character and became a very upstanding citizen. <laughs> so it's the introduction of the Mayan Empire and Siam, which started off as an alliance. Uh, hard to believe. But yeah, just Malaysia surrenders. I wish I added a dot 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 or something. This is like a really small scene, but I love it. I, lo I love Malitania. Like, I was thinking of... What's what's a new custom nation I could add? And I just thought Malitania. It's such a stupid, just like, it's such a stupid thing to be proud of. But I don't know. I just, I'm proud of that name. I'm proud I came up with it. I don't know why, but I like it. So yeah, uh, the Chinese invasion of Mongolia. Mongolia was another country that I wanted to make a character for, but I just, I never got the chance. There will probably be a Mongolian-type character in uh, Season 2. Oh, burp. I think my leg is bleeding. What the hell? <laughs> I must have accidentally picked a scab or something. Shit. So yeah, U.S. intervenes. This is the first major war. This is called the, uh, the Great War of East Asia. For those of you who don't know. On the... Uh, on the mapping wiki, I do have, like, a, a list of all the wars in the show, so if you want to know the names. And this is where I use my f the, f the first use of my credits music that I use all the time. So this sort of sets up the whole China versus... Th this is the setup of the Beijing Pact in Canada. Yeah, not too much to say about this, but... Who knows what the future will hold? Only time will tell and credits. So, that was episode one, and do I do I think it's a horrible video? No. Am I extremely proud of it? No. It's definitely the worst video I've ever made, and when I say that, that makes it sound like, oh, this is such a bad video. I don't think it's a terrible video, but I do think I could have done much better with it, especially at the time, I feel like I could have done better. I wasn't necessarily bringing my A-game, and... I, I, I'm, I've, I'm considering maybe sometime in the future doing that uh, remastered edition I was talking about earlier. I, like, just now came up with that. I think that would be fun. 
So yeah, and that is the first video on my channel and the first episode of Alternate Future of the World. So, uh, yeah, let's move on to episode two. So, episode two, this is sort of the final episode of the beginning, uh, the be this first half of season, of season one. There are the two videos that I'm not the most proud of, but, oh, but I, I am a lot more proud of episode two than episode one, but they are the, t the two episodes, the, the, the earlier style episodes where NATO, the NATO characters are still kind of dickish and not necessarily, you know, the more hero type characters that they become at the end of the series and, or the end of the season, that is, and, uh, the Beijing Pact isn't even established yet. So that is sort of the first half of the season. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. <sighs> Very tired. So, it's hard to believe that the second episode of the show actually starts off with India. <clears throat> India is a character that I feel I did a pretty good job developing in episode 5, but overall I wish I did more with India, because I had an idea of, uh, of, wh of where I wanted to take their character, and I think I did a good job in episode 5, but... I wish they got more dialogue in in Episode 4, because Episode 4, Isis and India, two major characters, they didn't get any dialogue in Episode 4, and I wish I did that, because they sort of fell out of fruition, but I, I hope I did a good job in Episode 5 of fixing that. So yeah, this is the beginning of the friendship between South Africa and Siam that would eventually become pivotal, and the invasion of Madagascar. Another thing, like, it's, it happened a second ago, si uh, South Africa just sort of said, expansion time, that's something I would never do nowadays. Uh, I feel like that's just not fleshed out enough at all. And, like, the scene ends without South Africa or Siam saying anything. The scene just sort of ends. So I'm happy I've, I've, c I've come a long way since these two episodes, and yeah. So this is ISIS establishing itself. The Caliphate has arisen, and NATO not happy about that at all. And this is another thing I would never do, just uh, have having a scene start with just a country declaring war on another country without any dialogue at all. I would never do that nowadays. But uh, yeah, that happened here, and I, actually, I remember doing it. I actually took a big break in making this episode. Like, I started on the first uh, minute, and then after the... ISIS expansion, I just sort of stopped, and I was trying to come up with what to do for the scene, and I was just blanking, and I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna have him go to war, so it was lazy on my point, but you know, it was June 2015, it was a long-ass time ago, so I guess, what can, what can I say? Still developing my writing skills at the time. But yeah, I need a sip. British are getting way too close to my empire, need a buffer zone. And this is the Congo. Uh, th they're a character I feel I could have done more with throughout the series, but I, I think their death in Episode 3 was satisfying enough. I feel like I made a good scene out of that. So yeah, this was, the series at the time was also, it was a bit more focused on the wars rather than uh, the dialogue. And, like I said, there, 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 it was still when I was developing my writing skills, but I, I don't want anyone to get the impression that I don't like these episodes. I feel like, I, at the, for the time, I did a decent job, and I feel like it was a good start to the season, especially episode two. You know, it's not that amazing, but I feel like it was, it, it was a good midway point for the series. Saudi Arabia is another character that I, after episode two, I did nothing with. I literally did nothing with. I think they had, like, one other line. Like, they joined NATO, and that was essentially it. So, um... Yeah, I wish I did more with Saudi Arabia. Canada stepping in to, uh... get in this... sort of talk some sense into NATO. Sort of playing to, in, you know, USA, Britain... At the time, all they really care about is expansion. I mean, you know, obviously that changes by, like, episode four or five, but 
uh, at the time, you know, bombastic characters. Uh, and this is the introduction of Isis as a character. Isis, I wanted to make very cold. A very cold character with not... Really, they only talk when it benefits a lot in their eyes. But I do think that was funny. It's like, our letter of crusade against the West begin, and then they declare war on Iran and Kazakhstan. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it, what they mean by that is, you know, let's gain more power so that we can attack the West, but it's just funny with the dialogue. And then uh, Egypt trying to make it up. The, f the first, that's sort of the first, uh, that, that's the start of Egypt's I, I need to avenge Namibia storyline, which I feel I like overall I could have done better with that, but I, I feel like towards the end of the series I did pretty good. Then Vietnam joins in, and this is uh, Siam's next hunt, and this is where Europa comes in. Another song I wish I didn't use, because I would have made like a hundred dollars on this video if I did not use it, but uh, yeah, so... The Globus, the band that made Europa, took all the money from this video. Now, yeah, what can you do? And this, I feel, is the best part of this episode. France, um, you know, talking to Brazil and starting the Great Crusade, which is the next war. The, the whole theme of this episode is crusading. And then Bolivia is another character that I wish I did more with. I feel like I've said that a million times throughout this video, but there are so many characters that I did little with that I wish I did more with, and Bolivia was one of them. In episode four, in episode three, four, five, like the entire second half of the season, they say nothing. And I wish I did. I wish they did. Uh, so yeah, Mayan Empire breaking up with Cyan. And this is the start of the Great Crusade, and Argentina being, like, the first main character to die. I need a sip of water. Mm. <clears throat> so that was Uruguay, I believe, that just died. This was when Brazil was still allies with NATO. Uh, NATO and EU, it's our job to protect the world. And this obviously shows, you know, America starting off as a bombastic, dickish character and eventually developing. <clears throat> uh, yeah, at the time, Beijing Pact just called the Chinese Alliance. And this is... Uh, oh, hold on, I want to pause there. Let the war begin. For those of you who didn't catch, in Episode 5, right before World War III, when Britain says, let the war begin, the whole point of that is to be a callback to this moment before the Great Crusade. And speaking of the Great Crusade, a lot of people actually think that this is World War III in Episode 2. A lot of people commented, this this is, oh no, World War III started, and then in Episode 5 is like, oh, what do you mean, this isn't World War III, this is World War IV. This isn't... World War III. I've always called this part of the episode the Great Crusade, since the whole theme of the episode was crusading. I thought it would be fitting as the Great Crusade. Plus, there's not really any fighting going on in uh, Oceania or uh, blah blah or Africa, so it's not technically a world war. So yeah, just want to clear that up. This is the Great Crusade, not uh, not World War Three. Oh, my voice is starting to give. So yeah, South Africa, Siam, joining in on the Chinese alliance. In come those guys. I probably shouldn't have had China invade California here. It seems a bit... not good. I don't think that's the most realistic of things, but... yeah. And then this is the no border changes. That sort of a theme. And then this is a thing that uh, a lot of people after this scene just sort of assume that Turkey was dead. No, uh, ISIS just annexed Anatolia. Throughout the series, ISIS is still alive in the uh, the European part of Turkey. Did I say ISIS still alive? Turkey's still alive. So yeah, um, overall, I think Canada was the best character in the first half of the series. Which... 
to me, the first half is the first two episodes, and three, four, and five were, uh, you know, the second half of the series. So I'm going to pause it from here and just sort of talk a bit about this. So that's that. That's episode one and two of the series, and overall, I feel they definitely are not as good as future videos that I would go on to make. And but but I do feel like it was a decent start to the series. Sort of having those dickish personalities be accentuated. I feel like my lack of great writing skills at the time actually helped accentuate the dickish personalities of NATO, which at the time I, I, th I think that actually helped because I wanted to show NATO as, you know, they, they're tools, they, they really are only focused on expansion. So is uh, so is China and obviously in ISIS, they really only care about expansion. But, or, you know, in the first half, that is. But I, I wanted to accentuate the expansive personalities of NATO in the first half so that, you know, it would eventually be more meaningful in the second half when they develop into characters that really just want to survive, protect their friends, and stop the Beijing Pact from dominating the world, which we will which we will talk about more in future director's commentaries on the second part of Alternate Future of the World, that being episode 3, 4, and 5. So, yeah, uh, my throat is hurting, and this has been a long-ass video. It lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. And, uh, yeah, so overall, I think it was a good start to the first, uh, I think it was a good start to the series. I could have done much better with it, but, like I said, overall, I think it worked out good. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I will go back to work on Subscriber Alternate Nations Episode 5, and I'm also starting a new project completely unrelated to Cosmic Mapping, uh, I will make a video about that in the future, just to let you guys know what that is. But it's a, it's a cooking channel, I'll just tell you that. So I'll, t I'll tell you guys about that more when I actually have it uploaded. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out my Twitter, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. And yeah, see you guys next time.